The Court Scene of the Merchant of Venice The Court Scene of the Merchant of Venice by Shakespeare is a dramatic and pivotal moment in the play, where the conflict between the Jewish moneylender Shylock and the Christian merchant Antonio reaches its climax. The scene takes place in a court of justice in Venice, where Antonio is brought before the Duke and the Magnificos of the city to answer for his failure to repay the loan he borrowed from Shylock. According to the bond they signed, Shylock is entitled to a pound of Antonio's flesh if he defaults on the payment. Shylock is determined to exact his revenge on Antonio, who has insulted, abused, and spat on him in the past, and who represents the Christian society that oppresses and discriminates against him. Antonio, on the other hand, is resigned to his fate, and hopes that his friend Bassanio, who has used the money to woo the wealthy heiress Portia, will be happy with her. The Duke tries to persuade Shylock to show mercy and accept twice the amount of the debt, but Shylock refuses, saying that he has sworn to have his bond and that he has a legal right to do so. He also argues that he has no reason to be merciful, as the Christians have shown him none, and that he is only following their example of treating their slaves as property. The Duke then reveals that he has sent for a learned doctor of law, Bellario, to give his opinion on the case, and that a messenger has arrived with a letter from him. The messenger turns out to be Nerissa, Portia's maid, disguised as a lawyer's clerk. She gives the Duke the letter, which states that Bellario is sick and cannot come, but that he has sent a young and learned lawyer, Balthasar, to take his place. The lawyer is actually Portia herself, disguised as a man, who has come to save Antonio with her wit and intelligence. Portia, as Balthasar, enters the court and asks for the details of the case. She then addresses Shylock and appeals to his sense of mercy, saying that it is a divine quality that blesses both the giver and the receiver, and that it is not strained or forced, but freely given. She also warns him that he himself might need mercy someday, and that he should not expect to receive it if he does not show it to others. She quotes the biblical saying, The quality of mercy is not strained, slash it droppeth as the gentle rain from heaven slash upon the place beneath, 4.I.184-186. Shylock, however, is unmoved by her speech, and insists on having his bond. He says that he will not answer to any of Portia's questions, and that he will only speak to the law. Portia then asks him if he has a balance to weigh the flesh, and a surgeon to stop Antonio's bleeding. Shylock says that he has a balance, but that he does not need a surgeon, as it is not mentioned in the bond. Portia then tells him to prepare his knife, and asks Antonio to bear his chest. At this point, Bassanio offers to pay Shylock six thousand ducats, or even more, to spare Antonio's life. Antonio tells Bassanio not to waste his money, and that he is ready to die. He bids farewell to Bassanio, and thanks him for his friendship and love. He also tells him to give his regards to Portia, and to tell her how he died for her sake. Portia, as Balthasar, tells Antonio not to fear, and that she is sure that the law will do him justice. She then asks Shylock to be merciful again, but he refuses, saying that he will have nothing but his bond. Portia then tells him that he shall have his bond, and that he can cut off a pound of Antonio's flesh, but he must do it precisely, and not shed any blood, or take more or less than a pound. She says that if he does any of these things, his lands and goods will be confiscated by the state. She also tells him that he must do it in the presence of the court, and that he cannot deny the course of law. She quotes the bond, which says, This bond doth give thee here no jot of blood. Slash the words expressly are, a pound of flesh, 4.I.301302. Shylock is stunned by this twist, and realizes that he has been outwitted by Portia. He asks for the money instead, but Portia tells him that he has forfeited it by refusing it earlier, and that he must stick to his bond. Shylock then asks for his life, but Portia tells him that it depends on the Duke's mercy, and that he must beg for it. The Duke tells Shylock that he will spare his life, but that he must give half of his wealth to Antonio, and the other half to the state. He also tells him that he must become a Christian, and that he must leave his entire estate to his daughter Jessica and her husband Lorenzo, who have eloped and converted to Christianity, after his death. 
Shylock agrees to these terms, saying that he is not well, and that he wishes to end the trial. Antonio then tells the Duke that he will give up his share of Shylock's wealth, on the condition that Shylock makes a will that leaves it to Jessica and Lorenzo. Shylock reluctantly agrees, and leaves the court. The Duke then dismisses the case, and praises Portia for her wisdom and skill. He invites her and Nerissa to dine with him, and tells Antonio to reward them for their service. Portia and Nerissa then ask Bassanio and Gradiano, Antonio's friend, for their rings, which they had given to them as tokens of their love, as a test of their fidelity. Bassanio and Gradiano are reluctant to part with their rings, but Antonio persuades them to do so, saying that they owe their lives to the lawyers. Portia and Nerissa then leave, saying that they will meet them at the monastery where they are staying. Bassanio and Gradiano follow them, while Antonio waits for them at the port. The scene ends with Gradiano joking that he hopes Nerissa's clerk will not sleep with his wife, and that he will get his ring back from him. The court scene is the most important and dramatic scene in the play, as it showcases the themes of justice, mercy, revenge, friendship, and love. It also reveals the characters and personalities of the main protagonists, such as Shylock's stubbornness and hatred, Antonio's nobility and sacrifice, Bassanio's loyalty and gratitude, and Portia's cleverness and generosity. The scene is full of suspense, tension, emotion, and irony, and it has been performed and interpreted in various ways by different actors and directors.